Hey, what's up, guys? So it is October 15th right now. It is about 8 p.m. at night, and I am currently on my way to Austin, Texas, where I am moving. I'm driving there all the way from L.A. Got my truck over here all loaded up, as you can see. Look out here in the front. Got the Blaha hat. Raj Kapoor dipshit hat. Got a mask over here because while I'm still in Cali, I still got to pretend COVID is real. But once I get past the Arizona border, I think I'll be good. And then the Vladimir tattoos over here. Got the priorities in front. So I decided since I'm making this big move, I might as well vlog some of it. You guys know I almost never vlog nowadays. But the ironic thing is, you know, when I used to vlog all the time and that's all I did, like who the fuck cares what I'm doing because all I do is vlog. But now that I've got the whole Vladimir thing going, now that I'm doing epic shit, I think a lot more people are actually interested to see what I'm doing. So when I do vlog, it'll probably get a much better response. So currently right now, I haven't gotten too far. I think I'm like in San Bernardino, like 50 miles into the trip. The whole trip is like 19 hours total tonight. I'm just driving to Arizona. I'm gonna leave all my shit at John Bravo, Mr. Wellington's house. Pays off to know the richest man in Arizona who lives in a nice gated community. So I can know all my stuff will be safe and uh yeah honestly i wanted to vlog a lot more but i'm just starting this now because i woke up at 8 a.m which for me is crazy because i'm usually only going to sleep at that time for those of you guys that know me but i'm only starting this vlog now even though i wanted to be vlogging way more but this whole move has just been on such short notice and it's just been hectic as fuck and i woke up at 8 a.m spent the whole day packing and getting all my shit in here and believe it or not guys this is actually my first move ever in my life unless you count when i was two years old and i moved from russia but i've never so much as moved like down the street let alone to a different city to a different state my whole life up until now i've lived in the same apartment believe it or not when my family moved out to la from russia in 1998 it was myself my mom my grandparents and my great grandma all living under the same roof in the same apartment and then eventually over the years they all moved out one by one so like a few years ago, at the age that most people would move out from their parents' house, my mom was actually the one who moved out from our house and I kept it. So if you guys, you OG fans, those of you guys that have watched my videos like all throughout the years, if you've ever wondered why I'm always in the same exact apartment, well, that's why I've always lived in the same place. So this is a first for me. Like I said, I'm keeping the apartment in LA too. After having it for so long, I just wouldn't feel right to give it up. Plus I'll still be coming back occasionally to film, you know, how am I gonna do the intros with GNC Indian? But yeah, otherwise super excited for this journey. Excited to take you guys along with me. And with that said, enough talking. Let's get the fuck back on the road. First time getting pulled over on the trip so far. Listen, man, I'm just gonna give you a warning. Just Obviously, just do me a favor, slow down. Uh, obviously, I of said, course. Uh, I'm sure you know, again, like I said, we talked about it earlier, that you know, we weren't too, too sure about the speed. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, I'll just give you the benefit of the doubt, but obviously, I know you got a long trip ahead of you, but just so you're aware, anytime you're in the Phoenix and like in the metropolitan area, yeah. most of the time, the speed will be 65. Once you go out to like in between the big major cities, then it'll jump up to 75 when it's a two lane highway, usually it'll jump up. So, gotcha. Uh, other than that, any questions or anything else I can answer? I got you, man. Oh, uh, no, that's it. I appreciate it, sir. Have a good night. All right, so I made it to Scottsdale, Arizona. This is my hotel room for the night. Left my truck at John's house. I'm gonna see John in the morning, but for those of you guys who are wondering why I'm not staying with him, because he is a psycho who keeps his house at 78 degrees, and I need it at 60 when I sleep, so that is why I got a hotel. And somebody in my comments recently was like, oh, how do you afford all the hotels you stay at? You must have a trust fund or something. Well, first of all, that's retarded because I don't think you need a trust fund to afford hotels, but I actually, believe it or not, have not paid for a single hotel that I've stayed at this year. I have an IHG Rewards MasterCard, which is like, you guys know most credit cards have their rewards that you get every month, which ends up being like a couple bucks. But with this card, you get a bunch of free hotels just for using the card and it's like honestly the best rewards program ever because it saved me a ton of money this year on hotels since again i haven't paid for a single one if anybody else wants to get this card i mean i would encourage everybody to do so but if you want to get it shoot me an email and i'll send you my referral code i think every referral i get like the equivalent of an extra free hotel stay night so yeah fuck it why not and to finish off the night we've got a nice surprise over here apparently arizona 
has Whataburger. I had no idea. That's the one thing I'm actually worried about in Texas. For the first time in my life, this is the leanest that I've ever been able to maintain a physique after doing a cut. I only gained eight pounds after my last cut and have been comfortably sitting at that weight. So with access to Whataburger every day, it's gonna be kind of hard not to get fat. So gonna have to watch my Whataburger in Texas. But uh, yeah, with that said, about to eat this shit and then getting back on the road tomorrow morning. All right, so it is October 16th in the morning. I just got picked up by the richest man in Arizona. I'm hiding from the camera like an asshole. Look, because I'm not ready. He didn't tell me I was going to be on fucking camera. <laughs> you didn't put your shoes on? I'm going to put my shoes on. I'm going to come there. You're going to jump for me. I'll be ass. Tell them I'll be there. Ten minutes of putting on my shoes. And I'm bringing meat. I'm going to make them all fucking eat it. I don't got my shoes, my slippers, my robe. I'm in my fucking underwear, you asshole. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, this doesn't even count because I was going to say this is the first video that you've actually ever been in on my channel. Believe it or not, this would be, but... I'm, I'm hiding still, though. But it's still just your voice. Exactly. So you're saying that for the next Beto video in November, you're going to come out and be there in person, right? 100%. What's the deadline? Uh, November 15th. Just because you got to figure out if you're going to do it at the guy's house or you're going to do it at the uh, Airbnb or wherever the fuck we're going to do it, that's why. Okay, so November 15th is the absolute latest. 100%. All right, so if John doesn't show up to Austin for the pedo videos by November 15th, he has to shave his head bald. No, I'll shave my beard, not my head. Fuck you. Your head and your eyebrows, like Alex did. Oh, fuck no. I mean, Alex did it. What's the, what's the big deal? I don't give a shit, dude. I'll fuck it. I'll die with that dead shit. I mean, you're coming anyway, so... I'm coming, so it doesn't matter, but I'm not going to yeah. say I'm shaving my head. Why not? If you're coming. No, fuck you. My beard. No, your head. No, because what if something happens, you know what I mean? Nothing's going to happen. Sometimes shit happens, shit happens in life, and you get fucked. Like this whole year? Yeah, this whole, this whole year. COVID's fucked us all. A million different ways. All right, if John doesn't show up by November 15th, then I'm going to drive to his house in Scottsdale while he's sleeping and shave his head. Fuck off. Official announcement right here. You heard it here first. So right here we get a $150,000 car. It's so like strong. It's like so strong. Hammer. It, so like watch what happens. It's so strong. That, <laughs> Let's say hi to John's dog. Ooh, it is way too hot in here. No, I don't fuck with it. It is way too hot. Get that motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so right now I am somewhere. I'm like an hour away from passing the Arizona border and getting into New Mexico and about 11 and a half hours from my house in Austin. So going to try to knock out most of the trip today. Might make it all the way to Austin depending on how I'm feeling. But either way, I'm going to have to stop at a hotel tonight because I have a pretty heavy duty mattress that I'm not going to get all the way up to the second floor by myself. So might stop on the way if I'm getting tired. If not, going to make it all the way to Austin stay in a hotel tonight either way and uh yeah with that said back on the fucking road all right so done driving for the day just checked into another hotel in this little town right off the freeway called fort stockton figured it's better to stop earlier than drive all the way to austin just because of when they make you check out i would end up getting more sleep if i stopped earlier than had i drove there and would have already been 6 a.m and then i'd only get a couple hours to sleep before they come and break into your room but this way i'll be well rested for tomorrow finish the rest of the drive got about five more hours left and yeah almost there guys almost time for the new house tour all right so it is the morning of october 17th last day of the drive as you can see i'm out here pretty much in the middle of nowhere we got five more hours left to go almost at the new house and with that said let's get fucking going round two right, sir i was able to verify your insurance mm -hmm. so you're good on that it is going to be a citation for your speed because you were 21 okay. miles over the post speed limit okay yeah uh, if i could just get your signature right here there you go. Not an admission to guilt, just a promise to contact the court, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, just make sure you do contact the court before the 27th of this month by 10 a.m. Perfect. Well, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. We'll drive safe, okay? Uh -huh. You too. Have a good day. 
So this time that was a ticket. But to be honest with you guys, I'm surprised I've only been pulled over twice so far in the past three days. Because the one negative, I guess you could say, of smaller cities, especially when you're driving in between cities, like I currently am, is the cops really don't have much to do. So you'll get pulled over for just about anything. Like I just did, going 61 in a 45 mile per hour zone. And honest to God, I didn't even know I was in a 45 because it was like half a mile in between two 75 mile per hour zones. I mean, you should have seen how I was driving like the whole time before that. So yeah, with all places, there's pros and cons. So you just gotta take the good with the bad. Like in LA, you'd never get pulled over for going 61 and 45 because the cops there have too much real crime to focus on to give a shit about little things like that. You know, there's people setting cars on fire, doing crazy shit. So they don't have time to deal with any nonsense like going 61 in a 45 mile per hour zone, which getting pulled over for that is nonsense, especially when it's like a completely empty road, not a single other person in sight. But like I said, you just gotta take the good with the bad. Like in LA, my car got broken into twice in the month of July alone, and I couldn't even file a police report because of COVID, whereas in a place like this, I don't think I'd ever have to worry about my car being broken into, but you get pulled over for going 61 and a 45. So it is what it is. Got about two more hours left to drive. And the next time I see you guys, assuming I don't get pulled over again, we'll be at the new house. All right, so after 19 hours of driving, finally made it to the new place. This is it, right here, all of it in the back. It's about five o'clock right now. Got the movers coming to help me unload all of this stuff at 5.30. So let me give you guys a quick tour and just kind of show you what it looks like before there's boxes and shit stacked all over the place. Got the entrance over here. This is kind of the living room on the bottom floor, kitchen, fireplace, little half bath over here. Was nice of the owners to leave me some toilet paper, very thoughtful, because I actually don't have any of my own yet. But then over here, well, first of all, over here, we've got like the little backyard area. And then we come up here to the second floor. This could be like a little office space over here. And then we've got basically a whole like second living room, which could be a room of its own. But more than likely, I'll end up making this into like a gym, putting a gym over here. Got a laundry room. First time ever in my life having in-unit laundry. And those of you guys who live in LA know because of the deadly COVID virus, there's now no coins. So if you have a laundry unit in your building that you have to use quarters for, now you basically have to go hunting for them. So it's gonna be great not dealing with that. And then over here, we've got the master bedroom. This is no fucking good. I sleep during the day. Fucking can't have daylight coming in here. But otherwise, look at this fucking huge master bedroom. Got the master bath over here. Look at that shower. Fucking sick shower. More TP. Very nice. And then... Look at this fucking walk-in closet. Again, those of you guys that are from LA, you are probably not used to seeing this. Those of you guys in other parts of the country, you know, this might be a normal thing, but to me, this is like, holy shit. This could be a whole fucking room of its own. And then, what else do we have? Bedroom number two, bedroom number three over here, bathroom number two, and then I didn't even know I have this, but apparently there's an attic. Let's see what's up here. I wasn't gonna do pedo catches in my own house, but this might be a good place to have them come up, make them sit up here for a little while. Oh, and last thing, this is later on in the day, but my landlord just brought me the keys and this is the new garage. 
But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. That is my new house tour. Time to start unpacking, getting settled in. Once I do get settled in in a few days, gonna get right to work on those pedo catches. Probably gonna do one in a few days with Alex. And as you guys heard earlier in this video, in a few weeks, John Bravo, Mr. Wellington, is gonna come out here in person and actually be in one for the first time ever. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button subscribe to this channel, my main channel, and of course, join my Patreon. Once I get 10,000 people on there, I'm gonna beat the shit out of a predator. And until next time, I'm out.